we'll see if this works. And I'm hoping the volume actually went up a bit. I realize Windows just seems to love to screw with the, uh, the volume settings. Anyways, it had the microphone setting below 50. Like, what the hell? I'm not sure if I'm going to do a combat or any of that stuff, but I certainly do want to talk about what I've been up to. Uh, quite a bit of stuff, actually, and some of it, um, I guess you would say somewhat optimistic, or it's been um, uh, somewhat successful, which has been nice for a bloody once. Uh, there was a combat uh, over here, and we did manage to push, uh, let's see if I can remember who it was. Uh, yes, it was these guys. So we did a combined attack with, uh, well, they were both, uh, both the Vorsh Army here, the 3rd Corps and the 13th Corps. And uh, lo and behold, um, I managed to uh, push them out just a bit. I mean, it's, it's just slight positional, whatever. Nothing else happened around here except I did manage to, geez, I have to remember everything again. Um, uh, yeah, or maybe this will just be a dry run uh, turn or a uh, video or whatever. It, it irritated me to, um, that, well, I kept my reserves way too far away, even with the rail. I have to remember where I wanted to get them. And was like, well, you can't, I can't get them to where I wanted. Uh, a ton of supply got left here. And that's yet again, I just didn't do things uh, properly. And I was like, oh, I can bring the, send the supply back towards this way. I could help out with combats. No, because I'm so far away from the rail line that I can't get I can't get the supply back onto a rail, proper uh, onto a train. So there's five, six, seven strength uh, supply points sitting there that will not be used. Um, I had, uh, I don't know if you remember, but um, the Kaiser uh, Falkenhayn, uh, uh, Ludendorff and uh, Hinden Hindenburg all met with uh, Charles Tortoise here, uh, the garrison corps commander. Uh, basically in charge of the Fistung divisions, like how to move them around and whatnot. And he was also, there was that special thing here with the reserve uh, Fistung infantry divisions uh, sitting here in Bromberg. And they were not, uh, it was kind of like one for one. If you're going to use a division, you have to have someone being brought in within a turn kind of thing. Uh, they had a special uh, meeting here and everybody agreed because it was basically Ludendorff and Hindenburg saying, look, we need, we need, this, we need the troops. So they were released, fi uh, finally. Uh, there was three divisions here of uh, Fistung Infantry Division, so 12 strength points. I was not able to put them exactly where I wanted to get them because of the distance involved and because of the zones of control. I wanted to have them here so I could make an attack here. Uh, that's not the case. I, d I did as much movement as I could. That's just the way it is. I did try to do a two you want to call it slightly gamey or whatever, because I did have a, uh, some German troops here, for, uh, the Kriegfrosch, which are in, uh, they're under direct control, uh, Core HQ1, essentially. Remember, that's uh, um, Baron Richthofen's uh, godfather is actually, I can't remember what cavalry division he is, but he was a real person. Anyways, um, uh, there, were, there was a cavalry division over here. They, they've got more, oh, well, they retreated back to here. And then there was another cavalry division here. I thought they were going to be both gimmies. Uh, this one definitely was. He uh, retreated automatically. However, I did give the, because they were Don Cossack cavalry divisions, uh, a, a Don Cal, uh, Cossack cavalry division, uh, a bit of prestige as far as I'm concerned. Um, I gave the Russians one demoralization point because basically they were forced to retreat. I just looked at it that way. This, on the other hand, was not a gimme. I didn't realize they had the Olita uh, Opelcheni Brigade sitting there. Uh, and I was like, ah, oh, shoot. I thought it was just, well, my reconnaissance was not good enough. I just thought it was cavalry. I went in with five uh, strength points. Uh, I was not able to supply them. And uh, they were defending across woods. Nothing happened. Uh, either way, there's only one strength point on the other side unsupplied as well. That's just the way it goes. Uh, then we did manage to actually push uh, the troops back. We actually uh, destroyed them. Uh, maybe that was the Olita um, Opelcheni Brigade, I think. I'll have to take a look. But they also had a... Uh, um, uh, maybe it was the... Uh, well, it doesn't matter. But they were, they, they were both Opelcheni Brigades. Look. Um, that would have been the fifth combat. 
Yep. Uh, they were the Bialystok Apolcheni Brigade. So the uh, Alida one was up there. Um, so they were destroyed or eliminated because uh, they're only one strength point and I just went with it. Uh, so we, we advanced into that position. So it's not too bad, I guess you could say, that, uh, you know, um, part of the 8th Army did have an okay time. Well, you know, back and forth. But I'll tell you one thing. Uh, von Estorf, uh, well, there's going to be lots of movement around later on, but uh, he's gone. I'm not going to have him uh, part of, uh, maybe he'll go to Africa, but he'll just be like a beyond a uh, little side paragraph. That's for bloody sure. Uh, and here's the kicker for me in the, in the long run. I have 12 supply points sitting here. I did as much movement as I could around here, and I'm going to give it one hell of a go. Uh, I've got 12 supply points. I'm going to use them all, and what a lovely world we live in. Uh, if you're the Germans, because I can um, exactly supply uh, 12 for the attacks that I want to do. This is going to be interesting. This is the very, very first time ever, uh, ever, that I've ever played uh, this game that I've decided to mount an attack that's uh, five movement points or, or uh, beyond the optimum, which is four for an attack, four movement points for a hex. Uh, now uh, I'm going to suffer a penalty. Uh, the, the, the fascinating thing is, is that the penalty is per unit. So every single unit there is going to be reduced by one strength point. Uh, that's brutal uh, because I've, got nine, I've only got nine strength points sitting there. Uh, they do get to thank the F. They do not get a die roll modifier. Thank God because I'm just about to get obliterated. I essentially am going to go from a 9 to a 5, and I still have to spend my 3 supply points. It's just the way it is. Uh, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, because of that bloody river. It's just the way it goes, and that's life. Um, I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, this one as well, just due to the fact that I've got supply points. Might as well use them. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to have minus 2 to my die roll, and it's essentially, it, well, it's going to be worse than this one because I've only got 5 strength points straight up uh, and that's just the way it goes I'm gonna give it a go I'm just gonna say this I don't know if I know it's far far away so you're not gonna be able to see this properly I gave up a couple of it uh, combats I think well pr primarily over here I wanted to see if I can uh, take that core HQ there because it, that would be some sweet um, um, uh, demoralization points for them well, actually, it, technically in the game it's zero, but I, I, I say four. Uh, that's just the way it goes. Okay. So this guy here is only going to be uh, supplied by core HQ, which means I can only supply eight strength points. I can only use two supply points. Uh, that's just the way it goes. So everybody else is loaded up and then chopped in half. And I'm uh, going, unfortunately, on a minus three because they've got broken train and they're across the river. I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go. I've got 20 strength points plus an additional 14. I think it comes down. I think it comes out to about 15 attacking strength points. I'll take a look again. But uh, that's, just, uh, that's just the way it is. Um, I'm able to fully supply these guys and I'm maxed out for the six division limit. So that's just life. I tried as much as I could to bring these strength points up anymore. I just can't. Uh, so I've got that's going to cost me seven. That's, we won't be able to see them probably again, <laughs> maybe even with my head. So, uh, but there's uh, there's supply. I just put the supply points there. I, was wonder, I wasn't sure if I was going to do a close up shot. Anyways, this is the thing. Now let's just say in a perfect world, the Germans are able to take these two spots or force retreats. If that's the case. The Germans move into those positions, which means these two entrenched positions here are 100 completely surrounded. They're going to surrender. That's the way it goes. Um, give me a break. Uh, you're in a trench. If you want to extrapolate that from uh, the soldiers game, they're all in improved positions and it's, uh, you got to roll to get them out. Give that a shot when you're surrounded. I think you'll just surrender. All I got to say is that's going to be monstrous, I think, for demoralization. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I wouldn't bet the house on it to get those two combats, but you never know. It could happen. Other than that, what else can I say? I'm also looking at using, uh, um, giving Opal Cheney brigades or anything of that nature uh, always the option to retreat um, 
uh, before a combat kind of thing, uh, but you're going to give up um, you're going to give up a demoralization point. Um, I think would be kind of interesting to do, uh, but you save your unit if if that makes any sense. I think that would be uh, kind of like that. We'll take a look at that. The only other thing is um, I'm going to say this: if the Germans are managed to take these two positions and surround these guys, and there's like a major victory here. Um, going into the uh, December truce, I'm going to be de reducing uh, the German uh, de demoralization. I'm going to, you know, this is going to go uh, counter to the rules kind of thing in a sense, but I'm going to be like that. That's really uh, a good thing that happened, and I think it's going to boost morale, so why not? Uh, I understand that morale and demoralization points are not, you know, one for one or it's completely synonymous, but tough. I'm going with it. Um, that's it. Uh, I've got four more combats after this, and then we go to the Boog River Bridge combat, which is just going to knock my flipping socks off. So I'm going to actually, for me, I'm just going to go from uh, the least uh, strate strategically important, well, actually the memo one, then I'd probably want to go for that one first then, because um, the memo one, that would, uh, it would be nice to make sure that they can't get to that uh, memo from here, just due to the fact that... Um, their railhead would be there at least, you know what I mean? It would be difficult for them to bring some other stuff in here. I think that'd be great. Uh, we'll see what happens. This has just been absolutely fantastic. I've got to go and do some uh, uh, live stream prep and whatnot, and also think about, you know, sleep or what other things like that. But uh, it's, oh man, when I, you know, I've got the bite, uh, the bit between my teeth with this. It's just, uh, it's been such a long time. Like I said, I just feel like I've, I've been, I'm hanging out with an old friend um a wonderful wonderful friend uh this has just been amazing um oh son of a bitch it's been fantastic it really 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 has oh my gosh okay i was getting teary-eyed all right okay i'm gonna get one see you man